all right what is going on guys welcome back to another video so it is true and it's official viper is coming back so i have a lot to talk about in today's video so if you want to learn all about it be sure to watch all the way through but if you want the main information yes viper is coming back uh hcf obviously all right so the punishment reset for viper will take place on friday may 5th at 12 a.m est all punishments are being reset then practice season four will take place friday may 5th at 12 a.m est so yeah the server will open at this time uh mid night and practice will be open at this time then kits season xxx i think it's a season 30 friday may 5th at 6 p.m est and infernal start of the world saturday may 6th at 2 p.m est you guys can see me there play it on vipermc.net mizo.vipermc.net all sort of good stuff but yeah for the rest of this video i'm going to be explaining everything that's gone into this decision as well as as much information as i can reveal about what's going to be coming with viper and what's changing and what's staying the same and all this sort of stuff so stay tuned for the entire video i'm going to be talking about a lot all right so first things first let's talk about cobra or cct as you guys probably know so yes cobra was our project at the period where hcf was at like its lowest point like that's what it seems like i honestly think that hcf is at a higher point right now than it was at that point where we actually started doing cobra and like release cobra because hcf almost entirely died we literally ran start of the worlds on viper until pretty much the player count hit zero um but i think cobra was like really hyped up and it had the potential but i think it was just unfortunate circumstances as well as how long it took to freaking get out off the ground that took a long time probably killed down a lot of its potential but i mean even with all these setbacks the beta map had about 700 players or actually more than that and that was really good to see because that was like a lot of players for us that was a lot than um more than what we had at the ending stages of viper but i think the fact that the beta map was sort of like so buggy which was kind of intended because it's a beta map that just gave people such a bad first impression that um they ended up not returning and i think a lot of people were just like logging on to check it out and not a lot of people wanted to have to put in time to learn the game mode um, because it was complex compared to what hcf is it was a lot more complex and there's just a lot more that you need to understand and do so understandably it honestly did not work out with time uh, every map we got lower and lower player count we even made significant changes to make it easier more explainable like just a lot of effort was put in to make it work but unfortunately it did not there was a lot of players that actually did stick around from map to map and like a very tight-knit community that stayed every map and like played all the time we appreciate you guys a lot we know exactly who you are so for you guys and anyone that does want to experience cct in the future i will say it's not the end of cobra custom teams we actually do have a future planned for it um which i will probably either get into in this video or it'll be in the cobra discord probably by the time this video goes out but yeah to kind of end off that discussion i truly do think like i don't regret the decision of like stopping trying viper i guess and then starting up cobra because i truly do believe that for hgf to be reborn into something again it needed to die like the way it did. I think right now is a perfect time for HCF to actually come back because everyone's had a long break from it. I guess most people have. I know there's still servers going. I know the Spanish community for HCF is super large right now as well, but I think everyone took a break from it and I think that actually does help the potential for the future, okay? Because even when I was playing Cobra, like there was times where I wanted just regular HCF. Even like my faction members would always say that they miss Viper a ton. A lot of people a lot of people always said to bring back viper that was always a thing and now that we're actually doing this we really want to do it right and there's a lot of things that's going to go into this and we want to do everything we can to make this uh return back to what it used to be okay so to talk about what's actually coming back so the entire network viper is going to be back and maintained again we are putting i guess this is what is happening to cobra we're putting cct on my or sorry, we're putting cct on viper i was about to say mine katie no cct is going on viper it's going to be a separate realm that is ran seasonally with special circumstances there'll probably be special rewards the details aren't fully worked out with that yet but again cct will come back in terms of being released again we'll do special stuff with it and um it will be on viper it might not be there right when we open up like infernal and stuff like that um for the grand release but that is what's happening to cct it will be put on to viper and i did say this yes infernal is going to be the realm that comes back infernal is always our most popular realm and it was just kind of like a fun arcade experience you don't need to know that much about the game you just play okay you can just get loot pretty easily and you just play we made a ton of changes towards the end of viper to make it a lot easier for no ranks and stuff like that even there's a portion of my channel where i played as like a default rank for like a year and it was like really fun it's coming back in that aspect there was a ton of stuff we added to cobra 
that like players love in terms of the idea of it but um it would work success like extremely well on infernal so some of these are like the new events like for example the capture the flag the secure the payload the hard point the hell cage uh, all that sort of stuff can be added and it will be on infernal so we are going to have new content it's not going to be the exact same but i will say that it's going to be as close to what it used to be as possible in a way that's not detrimental or turn anyone off from playing okay it, if anything it's only going to be better a lot of the stuff we added to cobra that's more controversial we are willing to pull it um so let you guys decide a little bit of a community oriented decision making in terms of what should be added to the service for example like even informing was messaging me telling me he really liked the idea of the bosses we did on cobra which were like the ones that would spawn in the war zone you would kill it and then your entire faction would get benefits for an hour obviously i see that as a way more like a bigger change more controversial like there hasn't been bosses in hgf ever so adding it doesn't make it feel like hgf so i understand that but i also do understand the perspective that it's really cool and it has a competitive aspect kind of like the whole idea was like league of legends dragon system um so yeah that would be something we could pull in the future of bringing back but yeah for what it's going to return as in the grand state uh, or like the grand release the state of it will pretty much be classic infernal with additional content that we are sure will only improve the experience like better events like back on infernal there's only cots okay now there'll be like eight events which is really cool and uh, those will be running and all that sort of stuff what i need you guys to think back to right now this is where i need your help i want any and all suggestions down below if you are going to leave feedback and criticism uh try to make it as clear as possible and um obviously don't be toxic there's no point for that it's, it just makes your suggestion less heard um but yeah think back to what you remember on viper what could be improved um, I know towards the end of Viper, the pearls were a little buggy, so I'm going to do my best to perfect those into the best, like, circumstance, or I guess the, just the best characteristics of pearls possible. So yeah, we're, we're open to all that. I know we made a lot of changes towards the end of Infernal that will probably be reverted, and we will kind of resort back to a more popular state of Infernal in terms of, like, the characteristics of everything. In terms of the partner package wave, this is a time we experienced on, on Infernal a significant power creep over time. Um, this is a time we can kind of reset that. So I kind of wanted your guys' suggestions down below of what your favorite partner items were. Obviously, partner items are going to be a thing. That's like the main, uh, I guess, arcade style of the PvP on here. Let me know your favorite ones down below. I was kind of thinking of sticking with the rewind update. I know a lot of people did not play the rewind update, but when I made that wave, it was because those are like the fan favorite items. So let me actually get those all up. Okay, so the items that existed with the rewind update, which I think a lot of these are considered classics and and just like ones that people generally liked so i know there's a lot in here um that's because they're distributed over a lot of sources like the black market the seasonal crate uh the partner crate the mystery boxes like all of this ha are, they're just distributed everywhere okay and there's like a lot of places you can get them so that's why there's a lot here i don't think we need this many for a you know re-release of stuff but what i will say the classics in my opinion are is like the tp ball um, I think the ninja can be good if it's a rare item. Either it has to be super rare or it has to be relatively common that's consumable. But I think if you make it common and consumable, then people, that, that incentivizes those terrible drop downs again i'm speaking purely from like a base rating perspective right now um portable bard is a good one guardian angel is good exotic bone is good full invis is good time warp is good combo ability is good tp bow i like that one as well uh focus mode is great anti-trap beacon is great eye of mesoid is good if you don't have a ninja because it like limits to only being a drop down so i thought the rage ball is fun berserk ability magic rock close call those are like my favorites uh, out of these i mean there's a lot of partners that have been on viper that have come and go so I, bet, I guess I'm asking you guys to think back to your favorite update of Viper, your favorite items, the classics, not the ones that are super OP or that aren't good at all, just like the ones that, you know, kind of give you a perspective of just having fun, okay? So just think back to that because we're going to be reaching out to you guys a lot in what should be returning for the infernal state of things because we kind of want your opinion okay we don't want to make anything drastic without your guys's opinion so let me know what you think about this should partner items be fully disabled in the nether and the end towards the end of viper we made this decision for like the team fighters but i know the more casual player base and the players that just want to have like fun and just like mess around they didn't like that so let me know what you think about that specifically as well again there are some items that like could be permanently disabled in, in there not all of them like for example i think we made it so the eye of mesoid would never work in the nether i think yeah you can see it's in the lore right there so like stuff like that so do you like partner items in there do you not like him all that sort of stuff um i think what will be staying is like you can't use g kits in combat while in the war zone while in the end or while in the nether you can use them while outside of combat though 
or if you're in someone's base obviously that's past war zone so you can just use them all the time that's a thing that will exist but yeah i did mention this earlier we do want to make a lot of this comeback about you guys we want you guys to submit the feedback we want you guys to make the ideas for like polls of what to bring over we don't want to do anything drastic without the approval of the majority of everybody so yeah keep that in mind um, I guess you could say it's kind of like community realm in that aspect because community realm, we pulled everything. We can kind of do that and we probably will be taking that aspect uh, with Infernal because we do want to keep you guys involved and we want to rebuild this in a way that all you guys enjoy but yeah i am excited for it to be back i really do hope we can rebuild something i think there is a lot of potential obviously i have been teasing it in my past couple of videos we actually haven't said anything officially to like almost anyone and there's already been a ton of people saying we're coming back which is just weird because we literally like didn't confirm it with like anyone at all um like i know hcf alert made a video saying like that someone confirmed that viper's coming back but like there's just no way that could have been possible like i think that guy was just like lying <laughs> but he was right um I mean, I've been using like a Viper pack in some of my videos. I updated my description with the Viper IP. Obviously, Cobra stopped releasing. That was kind of obvious though. I guess stay tuned for Viper. I'm really excited. I hope to see you guys online for the release. Again, comment just anything down below that will be of value to us as we move forward. Again, um, this is just the old version of Infernal. It's not the new one that I'm on right now. I want to mention this because it's going to be pretty fun, actually. I'm hosting a private HCF versus series with a bunch of YouTubers. I already arranged a whole group chat with as many people as possible, and I'm going to be doing that, probably posting it next week or even that towards the end of this week, and that, yeah, that should be pretty fun. So we have a lot of it. I'm bringing back as many YouTubers as possible to play in it, and it'll be a good time, okay? It'll give you guys a nice little... Um, fun thing to watch before Viper's release. And it will be on this version of, of Infernal, not the new version. So there's that as well. Oh, and I didn't specify, but it's going to be a proximity chat versus series. So we'll be able to talk to players in game while we're playing. So it'll be pretty fun. By the way, just to make it clear, everything you guys have seen in this video, none of this is like the new Viper. This is all an old state of Viper that the proximity chat will be like um, taking place on. It is nothing of what is going to like come out to be when we actually release but yeah again guys my final call to you while i end this video is you can comment any questions down below i'll try my best to reply to as many as possible again try not to be toxic to anyone um or just in general there's just no point i just want your suggestions so what is the best things you remember from viper that you definitely need to see and you want to see whether that's uh in partner items in rules in certain aspects of the game mode certain features and then is there anything you want to see that's brand new is there anything you want to see from Cobra come over? And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. All right, well, I'll see you guys in the next video in probably like a day or two. I'm going to be uploading on the Mind Katie kit map and fashions and stuff in the meantime. But yeah, obviously the proximity chat series should take place like next week. So stay tuned for that for some HCF content. All right, peace.